Here we go. All right, Matt, you got this. You're running this. I mean, not Matt. Tyler, you're running this. Actually, Matt, you want to run it today? Are you sure? Tyler, go. The pretty lady down at the end with facial hair can run this meeting. Perfect. Uh, I'd like to call to order the Modern Day Planning Subcommittee meeting at 11 a.m. on March 5th, 2024. Uh, do I have a motion to be started? No, you don't need a motion okay, for that. Well, uh, consider allowing remote participation. Don't need it. Um, adoption of the agenda uh, motion. Make a motion to adopt the agenda as presented. Make a motion to adopt the agenda as presented. So. Mm. So moved. <laughs> no, Everybody favor. has to vote. Aye. 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 Um, adoption of the previous minutes. I need a motion to adopt the previous minutes. So moved. And a motion. That she was the motion. motion. All right. Say all in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Unanimous. Aye. Go. Aye. Aye. Discussion. All right. Uh, so review the Marvin Day details and sponsorships. Um, Thanks a lot for everybody that works so hard getting all these sponsorships. We ended up. We got a few in over the finish line. Right? Yeah, we did. We we got in tight. Um, we ended up in total money, uh, thirty-four thousand. Total cash was like thirty thousand, uh, but we had two in kind good. sponsors, so it's, it's a good turnout. How does that compare to our budget, and what we've committed to spending? Um, we'll have to spend some. Some, but not. <clears throat> not a crazy amount. Um, mm -hmm. I think really what we had anticipated was like forty thousand dollars spending, which is on the high end of like mm -hmm. how much this is going to cost. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll kind of see as it gets down. I think from my math, which is still overzealous math of what's mm -hmm. going on right now, is like thirty-seven. Okay. Um, <clears throat> which could change, you know. Like there's, I'm sure there's small things that are going to be bought two weeks before and the week of that are going to happen. Um, but I think did a pretty good job throwing. Start down together. I appreciate everybody working so hard on that. Um, cool. And some of the details, uh, pretty much just this, just going over one more time um, where we're at, uh, what we got going on that day. We'll have three food trucks, we'll have one brewery, we'll have the breakfast club, but we'll come on at six. Uh, the event starts at four where we'll have the DJ and the kids' fun zone going. We have an obstacle course and a normal bounce house. We'll have the yard games out there. This will all be in the lawn beside the barn, you know, the kind of smaller, narrow lawn. Band will be set up in the big lawn. Um, we, and we have the face paint, the hair tinsel, the balloon tying guy. Um, so yeah, the kids will have plenty to do. We'll have limited parking on site. We'll, on the banners, banners got, are getting ordered today. Um, just to kind of our general to go around town. They are pretty bold, insane, uh, limited parking on site, prepare to park at Marvin Eiffel Park in less words than that, or prepare to park at Marvin Ridge High School. Sorry. Okay. Um, really putting that out there, that's going out on all of our posts, basically really highlighting that. We want, I want people to come prepared to park over there, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. know that they may have mm -hmm. the opportunity if they get there early. Okay. If they get there by, you know, if they're coming in at four o'clock, we can pack out the park and then um, we'll have the sheriffs deter people to the high school when they get there once we're full. Okay. Um, I've requested six officers. Um, I've requested the EMS mm -hmm. people. Um, so waiting to hear back from EMS. They told me it'll be much closer before they tell me for like <coughs> what's coming. Um, what time do you want us there? So, I have that pulled up too. Um, for pretty much everybody, I'd like you to be there by three o'clock. Um, I'd like you to be there by 2.30. Um, I'll go over, I just, this is still pretty rough, but it's kind of very similar to the packet everybody got last year uh, with kind of duties and everything on it. Um, <laughs> um, so kind of right. Sorry. Right now, going over everything, I'll just kind of tell everybody what I got here. Um, Austin, I kind of have you um, with assisting in the vendors as they set up, and I kind of want you to be the liaison with the brewery, kind of making sure they get everything they need. No drinking, Austin. Yeah, don't get hammered. No drinking, but, buddy. Yeah, just if they have any special requests or anything, I just want them to be comfy because I feel like they're going to get 
a lot of action. So I want them to mm -hmm. have a recycle bin beside them and tent. And as long them. as I'm briefed, I'm good for it. So you just let me know what I have to do. Brief, buddy. He's briefing you now. <laughs> um, and then we'll scroll on down. I don't have anything great for everybody. Uh, for Miss Kim, I got you down as um, kind of the funds on leader, kind of managing all of the beta club volunteers. Okay. I'll have you as their direct okay. report to. Yep. Um, if you'll kind of mingle around the and assign the volunteers to the bounce houses and the kids zone, and yep. I'll have someone in the barn. I'm going to have Councilman Barisich in the barn, okay. so they those volunteers that you delegate over there will kind of okay. report to him and everything. Um, will we have like a volunteer check in kind of at the barn like we did last the year? The idea is I'm okay. going to have Mary as a table uh, volunteer <laughs> check in. Perfect. So we'll have maybe just if we can get like a volunteer check in sign mm -hmm. and information sign, and we just put on that table. And I'll check in. I've got, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that I've got all of the slots filled with the Beta Club Perfect. kids. So we should be good there. <laughs> I have um, me, us three, and some of the Plug Force guys will be there a little earlier in the day. Okay. Uh, we'll probably be there lunch at noon. Um, the football team is going to come at 12 and kind of hang and I'm going to get them going by 3 o'clock. They're going to be just assisting us with heavy lifting and as people are setting up their booths and everything, want them to be there to help us. Um, the, the football coaches put out the like, sign up list uh, and I told them to make it less voluntary and more mandatory. Yes. Because I mean, and I kind of told the lady, they have like a liaison, I don't know if it's your PTO or who it is, but they use the park every year for a fundraiser and with that is the stipulation they knew this year at least that yeah. the stipulation with using that is you need to come to Marvin Day. Mm -hmm. And she kind of knows, I told her in kinder words yesterday, that if, they, if it's no show, then it's no barn mm -hmm. next year. Um, what was this for, the Boy Scouts? Football the team. Football team. Um, so hopefully we'll have that. Um, got a list together of me, Matt, Davey, the public works guys, and some of the staff here for the day before. <clears throat> Ideally on Friday, and this won't require y'all, but hopefully, I mean, we should be, it should be pretty much show up and go on Saturday. Everything should be in place from the list we got here. Uh, there's not going to be a ton to do other than just really leading up to the event, assisting people, getting everybody in the right spot, which we'll have a map, and I'll have a dotted map of like where each vendor needs to go. Um, that's pretty much going to be the day of. I don't have anything day of responsibility yet. For Deb and Jen, it's coming. It's going to be big. Don't wait. <laughs> so my daughter is uh, training to become like a professional nanny. She likes kids, so mm -hmm. the craft in the barn is a good place to put her, or perfect. wherever the Beta Club isn't already, you know, mm -hmm. already doled out. But she's good with kids. So okay. Perfect. Me not so much. You not so much. Uh, Tyler, let me answer quick with uh, <laughs> staff. How many are we going to have? Like not including the volunteers and stuff, but. That staff assigned to doing things, how many we got? So, like on the day of? Yes, sir. So, it'll be... Thirteen staff, so the whole council and the mayor, um, and then we will have people from the boards there. So, dedicated... Okay. Um, Reason I'm asking, we ordered because last year they rented those radios, so we've ordered 20. We have 20. We have 20, yeah. right? And I'm, I thought about that, and I think that'll be enough radios for who needs a radio. You know what I mean? I don't need a radio. I just like having one. So just, if we have an extra one, I'll take it. But I don't need it's one. It's just cool because I'm kind of assigning people as leads or as like. Or someone to be reported to and as long as every one of those has somebody mm -hmm. and then the people that are leads can, can communicate um, I think that'll be plenty of radios I think 20 is more than enough because um, really just gonna be it's mainly important for the people parking and the people having somebody at the top of the road with the police mm -hmm. and people yep. all the way to the bottom of the road yeah I mean having to do that it's like okay and especially at like six or seven o'clock when people just wanted to come and do a little bit and then they start leaving and you have more people coming in, then it's going to be like, okay, we've got three spots at this location. Send them down, pass that, start sending them back to the high school. And you can tell me what you think about this because I was looking at it on Amazon. I almost ordered it the other day. It's like, I don't know if you want to do a clicker, 
like if you want to like keep track of like how many spots you know if you envision in your mind how many we're going to have once we hit that number mm -hmm. and then we lose so many start over you know what i mean just to keep do, a tally do we like want, a do we want yeah. to determine how many um vehicles that we've allowed in throughout the entire event that's the only reason that we would need it other than that. I could see that. I mean, I kind of would like that just to have like... So that we have a frame of reference for next year. That would be so nice. So, so we can say like how many we fit with the firework being there kind of blocking it off and everything. Just as... And we'll... Information and gathering be, purposes. That might be a volunteer's job. We might get a volunteer and... Stand there find, and a kid, find a kid and be like, hey, this needs to be click. somebody at the entrance, you know, inside the gate. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. clicking every vehicle Clears. coming in and not so much going out. Yeah, yeah. Just mm -hmm. clicking and coming uh -huh. in. You talking about having the clicker during uh, Davy? Our guys will be roaming mm -hmm. during it, doing whatever needs to be done. So we'll have a guy go into a parking lot, and we can let him know at the gate. Hey, I got four open spots yeah, here. Right, right, right. So I don't know if the clicker would be beneficial for us doing that compared no, to us on the radio. It won't, but it will help determine how yeah, many for are so for us. Just trying to get a good number yeah, of what we can, we can do. do. We need to have a conversation with someone with the law enforcement to let them know that's our plan because mm -hmm. I, we don't want them showing up the day of thinking mm -hmm. like the last guy panicking right and saying and we, we had anybody else in we're shutting it down now no mm -hmm. one else can come in well, that's not how it once they this one with something like this the off-duty guy was telling me that we'll have like a um, there will be a supervisor-esque person with because it's a group of six so like one of them is going to be like a higher guy and he'll get in touch with them we have to like do a little more communicating prior to I mean, it, it's it's really simple it's mm -hmm. simple but, you know you make it i don't anticipate us having a line of cars like we did for no because i feel like once two go by you kind of get the message that you can't right. ride so you roll into that and you're still we're gonna have the signs on the side and say like mm -hmm. marvin ridge but you know, they may they may have 10 people in line and they may let three in mm -hmm. and then keep the others moving the other direction so it can be a little confusing but if they no one knows who's right and why you're being let in the gate so mm -hmm. it can be done i just didn't want the guy to yeah, say, yeah, yeah i'm not doing that yeah we need to let them know in advance but yeah i think we're getting there t-shirts are ordered today she just emailed me, um, so we'll get all those t-shirts, and hopefully we'll have everything by, I believe I sent, like, there's a meeting for April 15th, 15th. tax day. Yeah, 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 that'll be, um, hopefully we'll have everything to hand, to hand and give you that day. Um, but yeah, I mean. What about signs, signage? Yeah. As soon as this bond situation is over, they're going up. They, uh, I want everything down and all the new stuff up. Thanks. We're, we're, we're taking them down in the morning. Good. First thing in the morning. And we've got a lot of miscellaneous signs up around for concrete and yard services and. We'll, we'll, we'll do a complete sweep. So we just did that just a couple. I know. There's, weeks ago. They're, they're out in the roundabout here. Yeah. All right. We'll grab those. Yeah. We can get those down. That stuff drives me crazy. They, they, they see a lot of signs out and they're there. like oh i'm gonna see my sign there it's like no no they're or no, mm, we don't do that here that's right <laughs> so um i mean you can wait till tomorrow since you're gonna go out don't don't make do a, a special trip yeah. tomorrow and then put up the uh easter, yeah, easter goes going up tomorrow okay Australia, good and um then wait on these to come down and then yeah at some point probably we'll probably get our new marvin day stuff like for like 10 days. I'd say as soon as the Easter egg is over, those new ones for Marvin to go up and then they're up for the month. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Monday, the 25th of March, I think, yeah. Monday. That'll be a good solid month. And we've already started the Instagram and then kind of broke it up into um, several specific posts that kind of highlight a different mm -hmm. part of it. Good. Those are, have Paul, has Paul only finished those yet? I know she's working on the graphics. Yeah, I think, I believe she has finished it. Then that, then we should be good to go and get them scheduled. Okay. I need to, I'll check with her today. Though. Yeah, yeah, we'll get with her. Yeah, I don't think, I think she's coming in later to stay. So uh, let's get, so let's get the big banners and then all of like the sponsored like type banners out and the snipe signs and let's, as soon as the Easter egg hunt's over, let's start getting all those out. The, um, I love being asked also, all the banners when it comes to like the Easter egg hunt and the Marvin Day banners, how many are we going to have up at one time? The reason I'm asking, there's like what we got up now is our post, we're done. 
we don't have no more posts. So if we need to get more posts, mm -hmm. I don't no. want it to be a last minute thing and then we don't nope. get them up. No, nope. I think what we have out is good. I think like like as the day, the Saturday that the Easter egg hunt happens, Monday after that, we're taking them, replacing them okay. with Marvin Day. And we've got some additional posts for these, like a sign out here. We don't typically put one at the entrance, so we can move it elsewhere. Yeah, we'll and we probably won't have one there. here and one here, so we can move this one, um, you know, somewhere else. We'll spread them around. Mm -hmm. Are they two sided? Which ones? Marvin Day. No, no yeah, only. No. Well, actually, it depends on if you guys order the Marvin Day banners through Granite Sky. They can do those. And Granite Sky do it though. They can do that double sided, mm -hmm. and they're good quality. No, the the candle ones don't do two sided no, because, do on, and they're honestly not that good quality. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would recommend mm -hmm. just ordering from Granite Sky from now on. Mm -hmm. They get, they'll probably get it here pretty quick too, within a week and a half. I would get the double sided ones because it gets, it gets from both directions. Yeah. Yeah, we've been just putting up two like that. Well, yeah, the candle ones are also thinner, so yeah, the sun would shine there. through yeah, and you could see like, both sides. Yeah, so you, yeah, you don't want that. Better, yeah, we, mm. It's definitely a better option. I would do that. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we can always just get the replacement thing for the date. Right. Because it's a very good, very generic. Got our, just our big logo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Use them for a few years and replace them. And then replace, yeah. Mm -hmm. After they get yeah. beat all up for... The only yeah. ones that may need more... You might have to replace Marvin A more often just because it seems like the date shifts around more. Yeah, I know. If the date shifts around too much and details change too much, you'll probably have to just replace those annually. But if you're keeping all the rest of the banners for the other events, it's not that bad on the budget. Okay. And, um... We got porta potties ordered. Mm -hmm. We got light towers ordered. Mm -hmm. We got a, <clears throat> a roll-off dumpster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got active with their, all their trash mm -hmm. assistance. Okay. Food. What about food for volunteers? What are we doing that day? Pizza. Pizza. Perfect. Yeah, so Down in the. Pizzas. I got. Perfect. Jill and Mary are going to coordinate the food order. Waters. Um, yeah, the day before that Friday, I'll be at Publix and I'll get, you know, 100, uh, so many cases of water, so many cases of Gatorade. Um, might get a cup, I mean, you know, some assorted chips and stuff like that uh, for the people. Um, very specific Publix order. A four Saturday for the rider for the van have to pick that up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna you know, buy a lot of food. Okay, what about are you gonna do pizza for the like the Beta Club volunteers and anybody any volunteers or is it just like staff volunteers? I was just gonna say pizza for everybody, like staff, council, volunteers. Because I remember the sandwiches, the sandwiches year, were not good. Right? Well, they got hot and they melted. They were great when they first, the first got there. Mm -hmm. When I brought them, they were fantastic. They, no, they Afterwards, not so much. Yeah, it, it was so much. hot that they were, they were done within like 30 minutes. Do something else. I mean, no, I think pizza's great. I'm just asking, like, so when the volunteers are going there, they hey, if you guys pizza. are hungry, go down to the yeah. shed after your shift is over, grab some pizza. I didn't know if that's what we were planning on doing. Yeah, okay. that was the idea. Is like just get like a. Good. Okay. It, it won't be as hot in April either. So no, it won't. But I, I think pizza is yeah. fine, yeah. and pizza can stay hot. Like mm -hmm. it can get hot. That's fine. But that we got the sandwich just got a little gross. Cool. Okay. What else? Um, I mean, we've got one more meeting for this group before on the ninth, and then we have our council meeting on the fifteenth. So we should have a lot more information. And you have a you have a pre-event meeting scheduled for the fifteenth with at least staff, right, Tyler? And us. It's an and council. okay, council. you have you guys have a, there's a separate staff meeting. Even Are all of, that. is all of council coming to this? Yeah, I've invited them all. Yeah. Then I need then that needs to be a potential quorum notice. Can I borrow your pen for a second, Ken? I didn't have one on me. The fifteenth at eleven, from eleven to twelve thirty. You said what time? Eleven to twelve thirty. Thank you. I'll let my list. Final packets, final duties. Um, and everybody will kind of have a, everybody will know what to do, what to expect. Um, yeah, I have you guys showing up at 2 o'clock. Um, and, you know, take breaks as you need, but I will be there till 9.30. Okay. Yeah, it's way better than show up at the elementary school at 7.30 and stay till 10 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, brutal. And that's um. I think we've made some good adjustments. I do too. Yeah. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And I have I some agree. people dedicated, kind of for the 
kind of to give the kids breaks, like you were saying, like because I don't really have them. Depending on how many we have, I don't really have them broken into like shifts. Expecting them to come into waves. I do. You have a bunch of the beta club kids. Yeah, you have like the. Enough, I have like, I have them all in shifts. Okay. okay I have okay. I have them. Sign up genius. Uh huh. Um, Hang on, I'll, I'll tell you. Hang on. So I have them starting at three thirty. I have four bounce house attendants. I have two game lawn attendants, and I have four arts and crafts attendants at five. Th so that's still five thirty. So at five thirty, I have four arts and crafts, four bounce house, two game lawn attendants. At seven thirty, I have four crafts, two game lawn, four bounce house attendants. And that goes until nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I'm totally full. Perfect. Okay. So I will, okay, even better. So yeah, when they get done, each one, or if they get there early, have you relayed to them about like showing up, like how to like get in? You know what I mean? Like if they might have trouble getting dropped off or anything like that. Like if they're, or, or you think they'll be there the whole time? I have no idea. Yeah, because yeah, the later shifts. I'll send. I'll send out. Oh. Might have to take the bus. <laughs> No, I was going to say the, take the, the bus or line. if they can like, we can let, you know, people at the road know like every hour there might be some kids well, getting dropped off at the road. Well, at 5.30-ish, 7.30-ish, we might have kids getting dropped off for volunteer if they're not staying. But I will try to say, I asked them when they signed up for this not to include their school email because whenever I respond, it gets kicked back. So I will send out an email as we get closer telling them kind of their details if some get kicked back, what I will then do is I will email the um, beta club uh, teacher mm -hmm. and say, hey, can you just relay this, relay this information mm -hmm. to your beta club kids who are participating in this? Do they get t-shirts? I know I asked you this and I can't remember. I did. And I, remember I ordered like 30 like me. You did? Okay, something. perfect. Yeah. Okay. Just to have. Just That's good. Body, perfect. Might be a little big. Might be a little small. small. That's fine. Perfect. That's great. Okay. Um, yeah, they might got anything specific you want nope. to talk about, bring up. I like how these meetings are getting shorter. I know, right? And, like, we're getting on to the date, and it's not... I don't feel so... Wee! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready to rip my hair out this year. We're good. I feel like, well, yeah. I feel like we've... I mean, well, past we've, we've been feeling like we're coming in on two wheels. Right. Well, I mean, we're we're using the same vendors for certain things. Like we're we're kind mm -hmm. of we're to the point where we can start repeating some of mm -hmm. these things, and we're not having to be so. so while, huh? Can yeah, I make every, everything is in a new decision. Can I make a recommendation for you? Maybe one thing. Like I haven't done that much event planning, but I have done an internship, and we literally turned our process into basically creating a bible to follow every year. So you can chart. You can. Just document your your repeated vendors, your processes, what needs to go before, which board when. You can make it a very organized process too. That way, in case you're not here for whatever reason, someone else knows what to do. Right, right. Um, Sounds like an intern project, but you know. <laughs> Are we doing the uh, big coolers with ice and water like we did last year? Yeah, like for the staff. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. We will have those big white ones. Actually, yeah. that on your. No, don't worry, it's on your list of. <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm going to have the guys get them down because they're in the shelf. They've been yeah, stored they're all done. year. Yeah, we'll wash them out. out and yes, yeah, we'll do bags of ice. We'll shove them full of uh, Gatorade and water for everybody. Okay. We'll probably just keep them, you know, if you get too thirsty, we'll probably keep them down at the shed. Might even have somebody. <laughs> I'd, throw, um, I'd throw one underneath a table in the barn. The barn under the yeah, and I get the little bottles because people take like three sips of it and they set it down and then it's a whole wasteful bottle of that and that drives, that drives me crazy. Yeah. I'd get the little bottles and people need two or three, then they can have two or three, but I would get the little bottles. Wow. Um, yeah, that's what it be. And then we'll probably try to have food back there about 36 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, everybody can kind of eat whenever they get an opportunity for or try to make it a big point to not just leave your spot make sure it's covered yep um but <clears throat> yeah i mean i know it's getting close but it's really crept up it's not it went really fast planning it but we uh we about got everything here 
Alright. Okay. If y'all want to chat about, so the 5K will be at the school. We got that going. It'll be a health fair. I got with the blood truck with Blood Mobile. Um, he'll be there, Mr. Tucker. Um, I've reached out to the Girls on the Run and another group like that. Maybe it's just a cross country team. Either way, I started reaching out to some folks about running our guys, making our. Um, he's finalizing his contract, sending it to me tomorrow. He's made the making the link to the website so it can be updated. This committee doing that event too? Yeah, no, well, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I'll just kind update them on it. I know it's kind of broken off, but it'll be a 9 a.m. 5K and then 10 o'clock family fun or mile fun run. Uh, same route from last year and everything. I sent in the DOT closure. And I put in the officer request and the EMS request for that. Um, yeah. And we'll be accepting vendors. Them. I know we have chatted about Publix, mm -hmm. and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. Yeah, I have um, a couple of people that said they want to do the health fair. Yeah, kind of be vendors around. Mm -hmm. um, I'm have a, have a making a list. I'll send out another email. Some okay. people who have done it in the past, too. Um, yeah. Do you have a like, coffee truck? I do have a coffee truck coming. Um, the same lady that was at our uh, Christmas. She's coming, but she'll be selling coffee this time. She'll do co hot coffee, iced coffee, and smoothies for the kids. Okay. So that'll all be for sale. Smoothies. Yeah, yeah, smoothies sound real refreshing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be. That's something I know that was a little further away, but. Um, I'll start collecting some emails for the local high school. Running teams too. Like yeah. Track and yeah. Cross country. Get it to all so those sub worlds of running. Create your flyer, they can blast it out to the parents. Perfect. Well, nobody's got anything else about Marvin Day. Nope. Nope. I think that's it. If anybody right. has any questions, just give me a call or email. And all right. Anything. Shut it all down. Right, so I'm going to make a motion to adjourn the Marvin Day subcommittee meeting on Tuesday, March 5th at 11.27 a.m. Need to vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourn. Good Adjourn. job.